everyone. Okay. Welcome back to Travel Tip Tuesday hey. with the Let's Travel Mug travel. Podcast. So this week, I want to talk about something that you should be mindful of when you are booking flights, and that is the difference between nonstop and direct flights. So many people, including myself, I am guilty of this, use these terms interchangeably, but they're actually two different things with two different meanings. So a nonstop flight is exactly what you think it is. You get on one plane and you fly to your destination without any stops or layovers. They're usually a bit more expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. I don't like the up and down part. So <laughs> it's it, your least favorite part. <laughs> it is my least favorite part. Direct flights are a wee bit different. So a direct flight could possibly make a stop on the way to its final destination to let people off and let new passengers on. But if it retains the same flight number, it's considered a direct flight. So I find Porter here in Canada does this often. So you can book a direct flight from Halifax to Toronto, but it would make a stop in Montreal along the way to let people off and let new people on. So on the flip side of that, a flight that includes a layover, also called a connecting flight, you get off and you change planes. You have a different flight number for each of those flights. Um, you have a few hours or even like a whole day in between flights. So it's just important to know the difference and pay attention when you're booking flights, just so that you know exactly what you are booking. It all comes down to where you're going and personal preference, but you just want to make sure you know what you're getting into. So Megan, I assume that you already knew the differences, but do you usually choose nonstop flights or does it matter to you? Oh, it matters, but it's just also, of course, what the choices are to where, depending on where we want to go. So, I mean, nonstop is exactly what I, I want flights to be, but it's also not always possible. So I choose that first and foremost, definitely. But if I really want to go to the place, I will, I'll choose whatever I have to take. It does, I find, increase my anticipatory anxiety a bit when I know there is a connecting flight because then I always think if we don't leave Halifax on time then what's going to happen because it ricochets down the line so yeah. I find once I get to the middle destination of a, of a stopover I'm feeling so much better but it's just the initial leaving Halifax I'm always very nervous about that because when, when it starts slow you never know what's going to happen so yes, if I can get there in one shot, it's my first choice. But if I really want to go, I'll do what I got to do. That's fair. I think we're similar as well. Yeah, the weather plays a big factor, especially here in Canada uh, when you're dealing with connecting flights. So yeah, non nonstop is, is my personal preference too. So that's it. I just wanted to throw that out there this week that there is actually a difference between nonstop and direct flights. So that's it for this Travel Tip Tuesday. You can find us on social media at Travel Mug Podcast. We're also on our website, travelmugpodcast.com. You can support the show through Buy Me a Coffee by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, or just by sharing the show with a travel loving pal. Until next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.